The plan for a new high school has some residents wondering if the location is putting lives in danger on a nearby roadway. But as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, school officials say the plan should not increase traffic. Take a look at this intersection. Look down that way. There's a hill that comes up. You can't see cars as they're coming over the hill. Down the other way, there's trees that block the view of traffic. People say it's just too dangerous here to add more traffic to the area. When I say curves, I mean like curves. Morgan Kirby's emotions about the area she grew up in are mixed. I've lived here since I was four years old. She loves her home. You know, beautiful scenery, nice neighbors. But the road out front of it, she says, is a problem. If you just sit here, you'll notice probably 75% of the cars that drive by are on their phones. A problem that took the life of one of her childhood best friends. It was a bright, beautiful day. It wasn't raining. It was just a freak accident, but I do believe that the road had something to do with it. The road is curvy. Many roads pour into it. The location of the school in the middle of a residential area, especially where the roads aren't so nice. Choose a different location. There's so much land in Mountain Juliet. Why this one? Why right here? Why? Why for Wilson County officials? There is massive overcrowding at Mount Juliet High School. Is overcrowding. This here is that corner. So we're going to rebuild a road here, add a light, and it's not going to look anything like it does right now. Director of Communications Jennifer Johnson says they've studied this area. So those people actually aren't going to be impacted at all because the road is going to be built right here. The land is good, and they're taking steps to make sure people can get in and out. Because those students are already traveling that road every day to get to another high school. So really the only thing it's going to do is shorten their commute. Because if they don't do something soon, the schools will just continue to crowd. It's really hard to find large parcels of land. In Mount Juliet, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Johnson says the county expects 500 new students to be added every year.